Here's some more art that I, I did. I'm pulling out of my book. I thought I'd talk a little bit more about what I've been on in my journey and, and searching and everything. I really don't know how to go about putting everything out there and saying everything. Sometimes words kind of get jumbled. But kind of what Dreams Within Dreams has been saying about everything changing and stuff, I see that too. Just like the Bible talks about the time that comes and Satan manipulating everything and changing the system and being able to control things in a certain way. Gold, I think, has a big part to do with that. I saw this video a while ago, the way I've been being led. If you type in mothership in the YouTube search thing, you'll see this, what they say, say, is a UFO. To me, it looks like a bunch of gold being dropped in the atmosphere. If you know a little bit about gold, then you know that gold, it will evaporate in small amounts easier, but in large amounts it doesn't, it goes through. If that's what they're doing, I don't know. I'm just trying to add. I, you know, I have no idea. I'm just trying to help out. There's a lot more stuff, and I'm still trying to find out how to put this stuff into words, guys. And um, The two pillars, there's a lot to do with what I've been seeing here lately. Um... Father Time, Saturn, all this stuff, everything comes in together. Guess I should have put this together more. But if you look in um, about the fusion of opposites in this fourth kingdom and all this stuff, See, they're controlling us somehow. A lot of people know this. See, it's about earth and heaven. All that crap. It's like in First Kings, when you read chapter 7, I think 14, it says 15 through 16 there. But... If you read a little bit back, I think it starts on 13 or 14. It's talk about the pillars, about Solomon. Solo man, soul man. Making these two pillars. You see, everything, the Bible is just like on different fractal levels of teaching. Just like the symbols and everything is on different fractal levels of teaching. The Masonics have a lot to do with it. They're the ones that have been hiding the key. They know all this knowledge has been kept through us all the occult and all this stuff whatever you want to call it it's been kept away from you they've been trying to scare you out and take you on the carnival ride so you don't figure this stuff out it's like symbols is another way of writing another way of explanation but in first kings you read about solomon building them about the globes at the top the five, the five, 18, 23 cubits each. When you add them up, add them two together, you get 46. That's the exact number of chromosomes in the human body that every cell where our DNA is stored. See, all this stuff's about control. The Masons hold the key, and they don't want to give this stuff up. And everyone's been searching, and we 
we're on that time to where everyone's trying to figure out knowledge, trying to figure this stuff out. I've got a lot more to share, you know. But like I said, I've got to put it into words first. The equinoxes and all this stuff has a lot to do with it. The 13 original colonies, Pennsylvania being the Keystone State. And other than that, I think I'm going to stop right there for right now. Just the best thing I could tell you, trying to figure this stuff out and what's going on. The Masons have a lot to do with it, but it's if you can pull it out. And you have to be on that level of understanding and not be eating off the good and the bad tree to be able to pull this out. And just like in Masonry, just like with anything, there's different levels. It means more than one thing. When you find one thing, that's one example of it. But they symbolize things. And it means different meanings.